Hey, hey, Deanna here. Okay, I know I was supposed to post something last week, but my kiddo was sick for three days and then I had a little play, a little worky weekend away this past weekend. And if you saw my stories, <laughs> it was fun. It was a really good time. But uh, anyways, I just didn't have a moment and I really wanted to create a video instead of just like post something. Um, okay, so if you've been following me for a bit, then you know there's something different. And yes, you're right. I have changed. I was formerly Goodness Greenish to now what is called Unfiltered and Evolving Beauty. And you're probably wondering why, why the name change? Well, I'm so glad you're wondering and asking. <laughs> Let me answer for you. Okay, so six years ago when I created Goodness Greenish and came up with that um, name, I was just getting into clean living as far as um, clean foods, really investigating that part. And most of you and some of you already were doing that. I, I wasn't. So it was very new for me. I had just had three major surgeries within five years. My son was having some health issues. So I was really diving deep into the food and then like cooking, cookware and all these different things and just learning so much more. And then uh, again, if for most of you or for people that don't know, uh, I've been a makeup artist for 30 years. I know it's <laughs> 30 years. Ah! And uh, I've done film, TV. I've worked pretty much every aspect, retail. And in the last 14 years, I also am a photographer, portrait photography, and I do makeup and portraits, uh, actual photography of it. So headshots, all that kind of thing. Anyway, I've been in the industry for a long time. And at that time, I was, it's over 20 years at that point, and I was learning about clean beauty and understanding about different ingredients, questionable ingredients. Um, so anyway, I developed this name and I just wanted to share what I was learning from all the different things that I was looking into. And a lot has changed since then. Uh, now I'm finding a lot more companies that are uh, doing clean beauty because six, seven years ago when I first got into it, and looking into it and then actually do using that in my pro kit as well. And again, not perfect, but you know, I, there's balance, hence greenish, um, hence there's no perfect thing one way or the other. There just isn't, so no perfectionism here. But uh, anyways, I was just sharing what I was learning and, and that kind of thing. But now you're, we have so many clean beauty companies and it's so great to see the progress with that. And again, it's been awesome. But here's the thing, I turned 50 over the pandemic, I'm now 51, <laughs> but a lot of what I noticed, so here's the unfiltered piece, is you know we were on social media. I mean, my business is on social media and, and especially during the pandemic, we lived on social media, right? And so what I really noticed was just the filtered reality, filtered and fake, and I'm just not that. If you've been following me for a bit, you notice I don't use filters, I don't, unless I'm doing something funny and it's quite noticeable. Uh, I'm not going to sit there and do a beauty thing. And the filters are so real now. And you can, what bothers me the most, and this is no offense if you're a beauty influencer or whatever, but I just, I have a problem when you're doing a makeup and you're super filtered out. That is just not reality. And for me that deals with clients every single day, you know, whether it's my clean beauty business or my makeup or my photography. And they're just like, well, I want it to look like this. Well, how come it looks like this on social media? Some people just don't understand. Um, I think now it's becoming more um, apparent and obvious that they're using filters, but they, but some people just don't. And, th and they think about them, well, I'm, you know, I'm 50 and they're 50 and they look like that. And so that's a problem. And so unfiltered, you're never going to get filtered here and um, or fake <laughs> or anything like that. So unfiltered and that's attitude, that's everything, point of view. And then the evolving piece came because we have such a negative um, connotation, connection with aging. And here's the thing, if you are aging, which it's a privilege to age, to be 51 and to continue to age, it's a privilege to age. The next second is not guaranteed. So. I'm all about pro-aging. I hate the term anti-aging because you want to age. <laughs> and I think there's just so many unrealistic things. And I'm not against injectables. I'm not against any of that. If you want to go and do that, anything like that. And I actually think that's that's appropriate. I, like It's up to you, but I, you're not going to get shame here. I'm just going to share what I've learned, and especially from 
my experience as a makeup artist, I wanna to continue to share what I'm learning. So evolving is where the pro-aging piece, evolving, because we will never stop evolving, right? We will always consistently evolve until the day we die. And so that's where the evolving piece comes in. So, and then of course, beauty. So if you want to continue to follow me or if you want to follow me, and this is, you know, again, I'm focusing mainly on women in their 40s, 50s plus, but even if you're not in your 40s yet, follow me, learn, learn from my mistakes, learn from the things that I'm doing right. Take it from, you know, just working in this industry. I'm here to share, and again, it's my opinion, but you know, I work with everyday women, um, non-models is what I like to say, and you know, that's, that's the thing. So again, if you're following me on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook, I want you to take my content in, and I really want you to walk away from anything you see on any of those platforms as, wow, I feel good about myself. I feel more confident. I feel like I don't want to compare myself to anybody else because there is nobody like you. You are uniquely you. And I know that sounds cheesy and, you know, super optimistic and positive, but that's what you're going to get here for the most part with some, you know, crazy, wacky kind of things too. But I will continue to post product reviews. I might share other things because now I'm in my fifties. There's a lot of things going on specifically with skin and hormones and I want to share all of that with you and some of the tips and tricks with that. You might see a silly reel here and there because that's just part of my personality. Age really truly isn't anything but a number because maturity wise, I'm still stuck in like junior high. So <laughs> anyway, but I really want you to walk away just feeling good about yourself, knowing that you know, you're know you doing your best, I'm doing my best, we're all just human, not perfect. There's just the filtered reality, don't buy into it. Anyway, so in a nutshell, that's what's going on over here. I really am excited about some things that I'm going to be going into and some little series I'm going to do. And if you have any questions or anything, send me a message, comment here and yay. Okay. Talk soon, everyone.